Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed basics of HTML such as what is an HTML, what is a markup language, what is the history of HTML, what is a tag, element and attribute. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss concepts like features of HTML, advantages, disadvantages, basic structure of HTML. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss the features of HTML. It is easy to learn and easy to use. So this HTML, which is a markup language, is very easy to learn and also you can easily use to design the web pages. It is platform independent language. What is meant by platform? Platform is nothing but your hardware and the operating system. So if you write a HTML program in a particular platform, that same program you can copy and paste in your system and you can run and you will get the same output what they have got also. So I can say it is platform independent. So which processor you are using and which operating system you are using, it does not bother. Using HTML, we can add images, videos, and audio to a web page. So HTML is basically used to design the web pages. In the web pages, if you want to add the images, videos, audios, anything you can add using the HTML to the web page. A website is a collection of web pages. From one web page, you want to go to the another web page. This also can be done using the HTML. Hypertext can be added to the text. Once you click the text, you will go to the corresponding web page. Further, HTML is a markup language. When we can say a language is a markup language, it uses only the tags. What is a tag? Anything if you keep between the angular brackets, we'll call it as a tag. So HTML is a markup language because it consists of only the tags. Now let me discuss the advantages of HTML. As you know that HTML is used to build the websites. So website consists of several web pages. All the web pages you can design using the HTML. Further, HTML is supported by all the browsers. If you write any program using the HTML and if you want to execute, you can double click on it. Once you double click on it, then the program will be executed and you will get an output in your default browser. If you want to open in a particular browser, you can right click on that program and then you can open with the specified browser, then it will execute and give the output. So I can say HTML is supported by all the browsers. It can be integrated with other languages such as cascading style sheet, I can say it as CSS and JavaScript, etc. Using the CSS, you can have the styles to the basic HTML page. If you want to go for the dynamic, then you can integrate the JavaScript. HTML pages are the static web pages. Suppose let's take that you have created a form. In that one, you have the A's. Now the A's you want to do the validation. Suppose someone is entering their A's as a negative number. If he has entered minus 5, any human whose A's is minus 5 is there, it is not valid. Such, such kind of validation you can do using the JavaScript. So HTML can be integrated with the JavaScript to have the dynamic. Now let me discuss the disadvantage of HTML. As I said earlier, using HTML you can create the web pages. However, we can only create create the static web pages. If you want to go for the dynamic web pages, then you need to integrate JavaScript to the HTML pages. Further, whatever the web pages you are creating using the HTML, they are not much secured. So I can say that security feature in HTML is not good. A large amount of code has to be written to create a simple web page. Suppose let's say that I want to create a web page where I want to display only Pernika Tutorials YouTube channel. To do that one, you need to write a large code. Various tags you need to open and then you have to close. Suppose 
suppose if I say doc type HTML, that tag you need to open, then you need to have the HTML open tag and close tag. Inside that one, you need the head tag and body tag. All these things you need to write. So if you want to create a simple web page also, you need to write a large amount of code. So this is the one of the disadvantages of HTML. Now let me discuss the basic structure of HTML program. Any HTML program contains the essential building block elements like doc type, HTML, head, title and body. Using these elements, we can create a web page. So if you write any HTML program, that HTML program should follow this structure. It contains the elements like doc type HTML. It tells the document type. And also you have the HTML tag, which is an open tag. And also you can see there is a closed tag. You have the forward slash HTML. So we have the tags few tags have open tag and also the closed tag. I can say if you write anything within the angular brackets, then we can say it as a tag. Now a closed tag will have the forward slash and the tag name. So I can say this is the open tag and this is the closed tag. So this HTML tag, I can say it as a root element. And then you have the head tag, which also have the open tag and closed tag. It contains the header information like title of the page. And also you can have the styles, you can have the metadata, all this information will be there in the head and similarly you will have the body tag which contains the information of the web page whatever the information you want to display in the web page that information you need to keep inside the body so any HTML program should follow this structure now let me discuss in detail about the doc type HTML tag. This is the document type declaration. As I said earlier, this doc type HTML provides the document type declaration. And if you see, we have the HTML. By looking at it, we can say that this is an HTML program. It declares a document as being an HTML document. The document type declaration is not case sense to. Not case sense to means you can write it in uppercase and also in the lowercase. Further, I can say it is is not in HTML tag. Earlier we have said anything you can write inside the angular brackets is a tag. But this doc type is not in HTML tag. Now let me discuss in detail about the HTML tag. This tag I can say it as a root element. All other elements are contained within the HTML tag only. So the HTML tag consists of body tag and also the head tag. The header information you will keep in the head tag and the entire information you want to display inside the web page you will keep inside the body tag. So I can say that HTML tag is the root element. Now let me discuss in detail about the head tag. The head tag contains the behind scenes elements for a web page. So I can say that behind scenes meaning is that whatever the information which you provided in the head tag will not be displayed on the web page. Only the title information you can see inside the web page. Other than that one, all the information which you have in the head tag will not be displayed inside the web page. Whatever the information only available in the body tag will be displayed on the web page. So I can say the head tag contains the behind the scenes. Suppose if you do a movie, only the hero, heroine and comedian actors only will be displayed in the front. But the cameraman, director, they will not be displayed inside the movie. But they are the pillars for the movie. So similarly, the head tag contains the behind the scenes information of a web page. So elements within the head are not visible on the front end of a web page. Only the information which is available in the body tag will be displayed in the web page. In the head tag, we will have several tags such as style tag, title, base, 
no script script meta link all these tags we will have inside the head tag now let me discuss each tag in detail first let me discuss about the style tag this html tag allows us to insert styling into our web page so using the style tag we can do the styling to the web pages as i said earlier we use the css cascading style sheets to add the styles to a web page so that CSS code whatever you want to write you will embed inside this style tag so the style tag allows us to insert the styling into our web page and make them appealing to look at with the help of CSS now let me discuss about the title tag the title is displayed on the top of your browser when you visit a website if you visit any website look at here i can see the pernica tutorials website the url to access the pernica tutorials website is pernica tutorials dot in there you can see home about courses virtual coffee jobs gate 2021 contact us for this web page you can see there is a title pernica tutorials Tutorial. So this title is displayed on the top of your browser when you visit a website. It contains the title of the web page that you are viewing. So whatever the web page you are viewing, the title will be displayed here. So this title you can provide using the title tag. Now let me discuss about the base tag. It specifies the base URL for all relative URLs in a document. In a document, there are several URLs are there. For all the URLs, URLs, there will be a base URL that URL you can provide with the help of the base tag now let me discuss about no script tag it defines a section of HTML that is inserted when the scripting has been turned off in your user browser we have several browsers suppose if I'm using any browser in that browser I have turned off the script option then whatever it should be displayed that information you will provide in no script tag so it defines a section of html that should be inserted when the scripting has been turned off in the browser now let me discuss about the script tag this tag is used to add functionality in the website with the help of javascript so using the javascript you can have the dynamic date to the web pages because in html whatever the web pages you are designing they all are static but if you want to go for the dynamic then you have to to write the JavaScript and that you need to integrate inside the HTML so that integration you can do with the help of the tag called script tag now let me discuss about the meta tag this tag encloses the metadata of the website that must be loaded every time the website is visited so it consists of the metadata of the web page or the website for example the metadata character set allows you to use the standard utf8 encoding in our website using this encoding users can view the website in the long ways of their own choice suppose you have developed a website that website information if user want to display in English that it should display in English if user want to display in Hindi then the information should be displayed in Hindi if user want to display the information in a French that should be displayed all these things can be achieved using this UTF-8 encoding this encoding can be provided in the meta tag now let me discuss about the link tag the link tag is used to type together HTML CSS and JavaScript using the HTML you can create the static web pages if you want to add styles to the basic web pages which you have created using HTML that you can do using the cascading style sheets and using the JavaScripts, you can add the dynamic nature to the web pages. So all this HTML, CSS and JavaScript are tied together with the help of the link tag. Now let me discuss about the body tag. The body tag is used to enclose all the visible content of a web page. Whatever the information you are able to see on a web page, all that information should be enclosed inside the body tag. In other words, the 
the body content is what the browser will show you on the front end so whatever the information is there in the body tag that information only will be displayed in the browser of a particular web page so in this video i have discussed the features of html advantages disadvantages and basic structure of an html program i hope you have understood all the concepts i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day